I am so excited to be able to bring you a couple of my tips and tricks on how I contour my face, how I place my blush, my bronzer, my highlighter, in order for me as a mature woman over 50 to be able to achieve a lifted cheekbones, the look of, a, a you know, no jowls, no sagging skin around here. If you have a double chin, it can help hide that. And I have a very, very high forehead as you can see, but it does also help disguise that. So I'm going to be getting into this for you guys. It is one that is fairly easy there it's a little bit more you know there's steps to learn in anything that you look at like this you're going to be looking at the video and going oh she just took 30 minutes to do that i don't have 30 minutes to do my face contour it's not like that once you get it down it's just like you know what you're doing and you can do it in i don't know five or ten minutes if you really are into doing all of it i said i bet that i could probably do all of this part of it in about 10 minutes or less so it's a longer video, yes, but it doesn't take that long once you learn the steps and once you learn the tricks to be able to lift your face up. And it just really gives you a whole entire facelift, a glowy look about you, which I absolutely love for an aging woman. She doesn't need dull skin. She needs to have her skin look glowy. And if you're interested in the foundation routine, I did that video and I'm going to link that video for you guys so that you can get flawless foundation that looks like skin as well. So we're going to get into this routine right now so that you can see what I do. I'm going to have my eyes done and my foundation all done. And we're just going to work on the bare canvas and putting the color on the face. So I hope you enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. And we're going to get into that routine right now. All right. So if you struggle with having saggy jowls, you don't have defined cheekbones, you want to know how to contour that nose, but not look like everybody that's doing the white strip down their nose right now. And you have kind of a high forehead and you have this thinning of your hair right, right. there at your calyx or have like a widow's peak. What you're gonna do first is you're gonna take your contour color. This is the e.l.f. small stipple brush, and then this is the number, no, I'm sorry. This is the Sephora Collection Second Chance Contour Color. This color is perfect for any contour, and I use this every single time. Okay, first things first, go up under your chin right here and just dot along the jowls. And everybody asks me, why isn't your skin sagging, Melissa? You've lost all this weight. Why isn't your skin sagging? It's smoke and mirrors, ladies. That's what it is, is I've just learned how to contour. Okay, you can see I do have, you know, a little bit of a double chin still, even though I've lost a bunch of weight. And what I do is I just contour that double chin out. I do have a video of myself doing this contour before I did lose the weight, and you can see how drastically it does on the before and after as far as um, being able to contour your face and how easy that is. Now I'm just blending, picking up a little bit more of that color, and now I'm gonna go up into my hairline. I did show you guys this recently on a high forehead video or a hair thinning video, and I just take it from that corner, and I'm looking in the little viewfinder here to try and do it so I don't have to hold up a makeup mirror you guys and i just go kind of in a straight line but then i go ahead and i push that towards my face so it blends a little bit more and then i'm going to pick up the color again and i'm going to do it on this side this is really hard to do without a mirror you guys <laughs> and especially in a viewfinder that's about a two by three here so i'm going to go ahead and put that in my hairline first and then i'm going to come across towards the middle just dusting it across the middle and then push everything towards your face to blend it out. And that's really the key. You want to have a good blend here. You don't want to have, you know, like everybody can just see that you have brown up there or dark gray up there. So that's kind of the key on that one. Now I'm going to pick up more color and I'm going to show you how to take care of contouring your cheeks so they look a little bit, you know, higher as we get older. They kind of fall a little bit. So... I'm going to come right in here about where the middle of my pupil is, maybe a little bit further out with this contour. And I'm just going to take that color high up. Don't go down too far because if you go down too far, you're not going, you're going to look like you have contour down here on your cheek. Instead of a lift, you're going to be pulling it down. So we're going high up towards the top of the ear. 
I used to say from the corner of your mouth to the top of your ear, that's where your contour goes. And that still is a good rule of thumb, but I like to bring it just a little bit higher right here where we start that apple of the cheek look right there, and then just blend it upwards ever so slightly. And then do the same thing on this side. And I do apologize if it's getting muffled because of where the microphone is placed and then just blend it upwards. And you can blend out here where you have, you know, your hairline is uneven. You can blend out there by your ears to kind of get your ears blended out a little bit. And then if you want to do, this is all I do for nose contour, if I ever do anything, most of the time I just don't. But if I want a little bit of nose contour, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this small stipple brush. See how, how my nose comes out just a tiny bit right there. I'm gonna just take that and I'm just gonna push it. And that way it makes a straight line without you know me having to go into a bunch of contour on my nose, which I don't really wanna do. So that is it sideways on both sides. And then my hairline, you can always do more if you feel like you need more in your hairline. Just remember to keep pushing that forward. And that way you can um, get you know everything seamless and go back and blend everything really well. And if you have a really bad double chin, pull that contour all the way down your neck because that's going to trail the eye down, the darkness down, and you won't just have this dark right here and then your neck kind of starts. So make sure that you blend everything really, really well. Now bronzer. Yes, I do do both bronzer and contour every time I do my face. I like what bronzer does as far as warming my skin up, but I love what contour does as far as being able to hide imperfection. I use the uh, L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It. It has a tiny, tiny bit of a satin finish. This is just a huge fluffy brush from uh, Real Techniques that I got a long time ago. And I'm just kind of loading that brush up. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of dust it across my hand to get any excess off so I'm not like making myself look too blotchy. And then I'm just gonna go across all of these parts where the sun normally hits and I'm just kind of bronzing them up so that I look like I have a little bit of life instead of being just really pale like I am. <laughs> and I am gonna hit my chin and I'm gonna hit my nose with that bronzer because what happens is the sun hits these points. It hits the top of our cheeks right here, top of our head or our forehead, and then our nose, our chin, and our decollete. So what I do is I do a little bit of bronzing right there on the um, bones right there, collarbone right there, that's the word. And then I'm done with the bronzing. So I have kind of warmed up my face a little bit. Next, I'm going in with my new ColourPop blush, and this is from the Mauve Collection. This is called uh, Catch My Vibe. It's a very pinky color. I think it's so pretty. And this is an angled brush, a radiance angled brush from It Cosmetics. It is my very favorite brush to do blush in the whole wide world because I don't feel like it deposits too much at one time on my skin, which is great. So I'm gonna start out here and I'm going to keep that line right there. This is the lift we're creating. We're keeping that nothing is going below that line. So we're looking up with our um, face makeup. And so I'm just going to start at the outside and just bounce that in with that stipple brush, stipple it in, pounce, bounce, whatever you wanna call it. And then I'm gonna go up into the hairline and around my eye just a little bit. So right here, this is what I consider, not this right here, but right out here, this is what I consider to be the apple of my cheeks. And I do that because I don't want it to be right here. And I don't want everybody to notice that I have, you know, bright pink right here, bright peach, whatever you use right there. I don't want that to be there. I want there to be a distraction where it looks like it is lifting up. And then again, on the other side out here at the corner or the kind of at your temple is where I start out, I guess. And then I bring it in and just stipple back and forth until it's where I want it to be, how much blush I want it to be. I have a tendency to put a little bit more blush on um, than the regular person does because I realize that just about any blush we do is going to fade during the day. And I just really like the way that it, this blush lays down. You don't have to get this blush, just try this with one that you have and just really do love the way that now you look at me and you can see that I have these cheekbones going on and I just really like that my forehead looks like it's coming down and I also look like I have a really distinct jawline. And putting all these other products, you know, blending all these other products on top 
of that contour really helps it when you turn sideways to not look like you have that line of demarcation. I look like I have darkness right there, but there's not, I don't know if I can even turn so you can see this. There's not a line of demarcation. It does look darker, but it's not like I have foundation here and then there's nothing here. So you look straight on, it looks just absolutely beautiful. And then on the sides, same thing. All right, last thing we're gonna do is highlighter. I do not go ham with my highlighter. This is the brand new Ofra and Samantha March. It's not new, I didn't get it before. I got it this time and I'm so glad I this did. This is another stipple brush I have from Luxie. I love working with stipple brushes because as an aging woman, nothing gets put on my face too stark. So I'm just gonna swirl both of those colors up and I am only going to place this. I do not put highlighter all over my face. Never have. I don't like it being, you know, really shiny on my nose, really shiny on my chin. I like there to be a natural glow, but I don't like that super shine. So I'm going to just place this right here on the top of my cheeks, and you're going to immediately see what that does. The only other thing I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to put it right here on the outside of my makeup, right there on my eye makeup, to kind of lift that just a little bit. And then the same thing on the other side, I am just putting that highlighter on the top of my cheeks. This doesn't come in here. This is where I have too much texture with my pores. So highlighter does not come in there. It just stays right out there on the outer part of my cheeks and then just right there on my eye to create a little bit of lift right there. So that part is it, that part is done for our face lift with our color for our cheeks. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put my mascara on and my lips on and I'll be right back and we'll talk a little bit more about this. Okay you guys, that is it. That's how I place all of my contour, bronzer, blush and highlight in order to give my face a lifted look so that you can't see any really sagging skin. It kind of hides all those imperfections. It brightens the face, it gives you a glowing dewy look to your skin without being shiny and I just love being able to do this with makeup because it can really make you feel better if you have spots on you that you really don't like I hate my high forehead I hate that I have sagging around you know I have jowls that sag but it can really be disguised so I'm gonna turn both ways so you can see how that looks I don't look like I have a line of demarcation here it does look like it's a shadow which in you know turn makes you look like you have a very thin face right here and this helps too when you contour right here it's gonna make you look like you have a very thin face and then when you put the emphasis with the highlight right here on the cheeks it's going to make it look fuller so I really do love all of these steps and like I said at the beginning once you get this down it does not take you this long to do it so I do hope that you enjoyed the tutorial and me showing you how I blend all of this stuff together to get my look please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy seeing this tutorial on how to give yourself an instant facelift with makeup when you're over 40 or 50 and beyond and thank you so much for watching with me today you guys I hope everybody is doing well and that um, everybody is staying safe and not going too stir crazy right now I know that I'm going a little bit stir crazy along with the rest of you but we're going to get through this and things are going to be good so I love you so very much and I will catch everybody in my next video take care you guys bye-bye